and that's a lovely ball being played in. Kevin O'Connor with the header away. Can Gary Morrissey get it back? He can. And it looked like a push on Coleman, and that is a penalty for Cork City. Coogan with the push on Coleman, and that... Take it, and like now, great chance for Cork City to take the lead, and uh, hopefully this could be could be a kickstart, like I said. It's quiet. Demigay fancies himself quite a lot, so hopefully he fancies himself for it's the It's quiet penalty. here anyway with no crowds. Hush has descended, and that is in the back of the net. Dylan McGlade has put Cork City ahead, sending the keeper the wrong way, and after... And the Cork City team with the two centre-halves, Jack Walsh and uh, Keen Coleman. Got Jack Walsh being... Marshall by Gilchrist, oh, that's played to the far stick. Play back across, and plenty of... Bit of a scramble there in the Cork City box, and it was Crowley who put the ball back across, and... So ref free kick. Referee <laughs> giving a free kick there. Cork City players not too uh, sure what that was for. Shelburne players will take that all day. But as Cork City with their tails up here, Dan, you like to see that? Yeah, like I said, it's, uh, like I said hopefully the, the goals drive a bit of confidence and uh, play on the front foot now. Like I said, it's... Uh, Great start, but great ball there from Shells. And it's Michael O'Connor in behind, and he takes the shot. A uh, lot of pressure from Hackenden. Hackenden may have... Pop He's got a decent right foot, as uh, Beard points in, to be fair. His delivery and his passing has been really good so far. Scored twice against Bray Wonders in their three-all draw. Two weeks ago, he plays the ball back in again. That's a crowded oh. box, and that is a goal. Goal for Co or Shelburne against Cork City. Fantastic header from Ali Gilchrist and a fantastic. This must be strange. Kevin O'Connor used to take every set piece ever <laughs> for Cork City and he hasn't taken any for Shells so far. That's uh, a header from Coogan back across goal and Dale Rooney tries to get it back but he falls as he's trying to get it back in and that goes over the bar and Mark McNulty. Set piece, especially the corners, in swinging corners that they've put in so far. Connor comes in left footed, that hits Scarred Marcy in the chest and he keep it in, he can. Has no other option but to go along, but that is tidied up by Touch. Lunny, who's got a chance oh. to shoot left-footed. Had options ahead of him, decided to shoot. And that skims harmlessly past Mark McNulty's left-hand post. Referee wasn't interested, but when you had to play against 10 men back in your day, Dan, I mean, like, concentration levels have to go up, the effort has to go up. And yeah, I think that's Training it. mentally and physically. It is, yeah, it is, yeah. I think you just got to believe, believe in what you're set up to do. Like I said, Collins obviously changed the formation. The lads just have to believe in it. It will uh, stand to him, and then, obviously... When you get the chance, keep the ball or, or or get that chance and take it when you need to. Well, it's got a chance here now for Shelburne. And Shelburne have gone ahead a minute and a half into this second half. It's Cork City 1, it's Shelburne 2. And it's Shane Farrell, of course it is, who's uh, found the back of the net for Shelburne, putting the ball past Mark McNulty with a very, very nice finish indeed. And it is Cork City 1, Shelburne 2. And Dan, when you're a goal down and a man down to concede within two minutes of the opening of the second half, not, not what you want, obviously. No, definitely not. Like I said, I think it was an, I think he shot and obviously uh, Roland Hurley didn't deal with it as well as he would have liked. And to be fair on the lad, he took it really well. It's a really good finish across Mark McNaught. Yeah, still 40 minutes left in this game, so no... Shelburne on the attack now again. And it's Barker. Oh, there you go. Farrell with a bit of a way we're past there, putting Barker under pressure, but he deals with it. And that Shelburne midfield with all the time in the world. And nice play there from McManus. As he plays it over to Gilchrist. The two set midfielders have been really good for Shelburne. Ponton and Manus have been really comfortable on the ball. And Connor trying to get the ball in early. Let's false to Shane Farrell, the goal scorer. Takes the shot, left footed. Didn't curl back, but that's a warning shot across the bow for Cork City. Far looking very, very light. Hacklin has to go along its clearance in the direction of Murphy, but that's going to go all the way to Clark. 35-year-old plays it back to his skipper over the far side, O'Connor. And Shelburne on the attack here on the far side, and it's with O'Connor who looks up. That was with Lunny. Talk about the shot left footed, but finds Coleman's head. Ball comes in again. It's in the direction of O'Connor, and that header is very, very close to going in. I don't think Mark McNulty did too much about that. Looked like hit the base of the post. Yeah, 
you can definitely see the experience with, throughout the side is uh, really there to, to see really like from Kevin O'Connor, Ellie Gilchrist all the way up to Michael O'Connor who was, who was starting. There's Lonnie now with Acres of Space. Gets the ball back from Maddie. That's Maddie again who turns and can he have a shot and he's just dispossessed by Byrne, but Maddie retains it. Gets it back and to Lonnie again. Lonnie tries the shot, left footed. That was always going to be an ambitious one and goes into the shed and Frank Minolte looking for the ball. Thinking there might be at least four. It's just a guess. Big shot for a penalty and it is Gareth Morrissey with the foul on Maddie. City one, to be honest. Morrissey just diving in on the, uh, the tired, tired former tackle. UCD man. Tired tired tackle. Tackle, yeah. It's Maddie versus Mark McNulty to put the result beyond doubt as we go into time added on. Six minutes to be added on. Maddie with the penalty. Oh, Mark McNulty gets a hand on it, but it goes into the roof of the net. Excellent power in that. Played the six minutes of time added on now, and Shell runner in here. <laughs> That's the substitute. Tip the ball past Bart McNulty, but that is it.